Hello everybody, welcome back again to Daggerfall, where when we last left, this woman was walking ominously towards me. No, I don't- please don't proposition me like that again. We are in the province, or rather, uh, the city of Daggerfall, and had just acquired a new mission. A story-related mission. The Concern for Nolfaga, where we have to go to the castle of Shadungent of Rothgaria. We have 150 days to do this, so that's plenty of time, I would imagine. Um, there are... Or, well, there's at least one thing that I need to take care of before we go. But before all that, I just want to take a moment to say how much I appreciate each and every one of you watching these videos. I had no idea they would blow up the way that they did, honestly. Um, the YouTube algorithm has truly blessed me. Uh, while I'm talking about this, I'm gonna make my way to the bank, but, uh... I just looked before starting recording here, and I didn't realize that the channel just hit a hundred subscribers. Like, I never would have even thought that I would be, like, owning a channel that has that many people watching and that many subscribers at this point. Which, you know, like, I just started mainly making videos for my, uh, like, just goofy little things for my friends to watch. <laughs> and it's kind of snowballed up with this series. But, uh, thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it more than you know. And I really, uh, I want to keep this going for... As, I don't want to steal. All right, there we go. <laughs> I want to keep this going as long as possible and, uh, you know, just keep uploading as much as I can. Uh, I actually started back to college after, you know, a short holiday break. So I had my first day back the day that I'm recording this and... You know, that's, it's going pretty well. Been, uh, you know, going to get those studies done and whatnot, so. Uh, I'm gonna try and, like, maintain time. I mean, it's, you know, an hour, you know, isn't that big of a deal to record something for, so I can definitely keep fitting this in my schedule and uploading, but the reason, aside from that, that we came to this bank is because it'll be easier explained if I can access the map. So, you may notice that Rothgarian Mountains are way over here, like several counties away. Now, some of you may recall that in one of the previous episodes I went to the bank and deposited a bunch of my gold. Well, that counts only for the county of Daggerfall here. So what that means, if I was to travel to the Rothgarian Mountains and go to a city there, like, I don't know, just to Bergshire or something, or Aldhope, then I couldn't access the gold that I have in the bank because it's only local to the county of Daggerfall. So, ways to circumvent that instead of picking up all of my gold and trying to lug it around is we can go to banking and I might actually deposit all but say like a thousand gold, so I'll do like 2135 because uh, I'd still like to have some hard gold for, like, buying rooms at taverns and such, but we can take out this letter of credit. Um, now we can't do all 10,000 because they take a, I believe it's a 10% tax, I want to say? So we can take, like, 9,800 out or something in a writ. Yeah, there we go. Uh, that 167, it'll just stay here, I guess. <laughs> but... Uh, let me just make sure that was, in fact, a letter of credit. Yes, okay. So you'll notice, yeah, we have this letter of credit worth 9,800 gold, and this is accepted in almost every place of business. Like, I can buy things with this, and it works like a credit card, almost. Like, they'll just deduct the amount of gold, uh, off of this letter of credit that I use to buy something, and it only ever weighs, uh, a quarter of a kilogram. So... That is much better than lugging around like 30 kilograms of gold with me. But yes, so I needed to withdraw that because we need our finances more than likely to uh, where we're going. It's, it's always nice having the option to buy things. So, I think this is the time where we take our first steps away from Daggerfall. Let's go to... Ooh, wait. Can we charter a boat with... No, wait, no. No, Rothgarian Mountains. We could go to Menevia. Maybe that would be easier to get to by boat? Do they have ports nearby? Yes. The Silver Hedgehog hub. <laughs> okay. So if we go out to... 
Uh, oh, cool. All right, we can travel by port from here, actually. So if we go out again back to Alcair, maybe, down to Cathborn, then we can choose to travel by ship and cut our travel time down substantially. Now, it looks like... Okay, so I'm just now noticing this. Our available gold is only the hard gold that we have for the trip cost. I guess because that's factoring in staying at inns. Uh, so that won't go off our uh, letter of credit. But we have enough cash to swing it, and this will make sure that we get there with plenty of time to spare. So let's go. 19-day voyage across the Iliac Bay. We're in Cathborn. And that's a flying ship. Oh, I want one so bad. If only they weren't 400,000 gold. One day. One day. As for now, though, we keep traveling on horse. Yeah! <laughs> So we go now to, let's uh, go to, oh wait, get rid of ports. There we go. Now we can see everything. Don't need homes. Probably need dungeons though. Like let's find Shadun, Shadungent. Where even was that? Yeah, I, I want to go there regardless. So 10 more days. We'll travel recklessly because this is going to be a dungeon on foot and I mean oh yeah that's right the travel options mod makes it camp out as player controlled so yeah we'll go cautiously or er, recklessly by ends we arrived at daytime anyway the ground here vibrates faintly a green haze makes your eyes burn what kind of evil magic is being practiced in this place look at that that is kind of technically a castle though so the lady who we're supposed to find is the grandmother of, let's see, of the King of Daggerfall, which it was, uh, Goth Gothrid? Yeah, I think it was Gothrid. And so King Queen Abaki is concerned about her. So we gotta delve into this to find the King of Daggerfall's good old grandmother. Why he keeps her all the way out here in the Rothgarian Mountains, I'll never know. But let's drop a save before going in. See what this place holds for us. Now this is one of those story dungeons, so this dungeon will not be affected if you uh, check the smaller dungeons box. Uh, the story dungeons are specifically, like, these are actually handcrafted and they are usually gigantic. Uh, need to do a recall, set an anchor for sure here. Um, let's see, oh, that's right, I remember Someone's saying that uh, the as far as the color boost goes, the dungeon scale looked better around 2.5. Which I kind of, I, I'd prefer it to be a little on the lower side for me too, because like 3.5 just made even dark areas of dungeons look bright to me. <laughs> so as long as this is still viewable, then this is what I'll go with. Oh, a magically held lock, huh? Yeah, we, there's no way we can pick that. So I guess we'll just... Uh, Crouch down, activate sneak mode, get our uh, weapon drawn, start scurrying around the place, sniffing for clues, sniffing for footprints. Got a nice stealth level up out of that. Now that looks like a place where a hidden door would be. Yeah. Oh, it's locked though. Oh, no, not anymore. Oh my god, what are you? Oh, he's got hands, too. He punched me pretty good. At least the bow can hurt him, so it's not like a crazy magical being. What is it? It's a flesh atronach. Oh! I forgot those were in this game. There we go. Get my arrows back. I guess he has no loot. Now, what was it guarding? bench. Insidious. A couple of archers in here. Look at that. Our stealth is good enough now that we were able to just pull this guy and the other one didn't, didn't even notice. Silence me. Oh, that's good. Yeah, you can't silence a bow. Come on. Alright, it's, it's dagger time. 
equip it. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna stab your knees. There we go. Take your gold, your ghoul tongue. Iron daikatana. I know the daikatanas usually sell for a good bit, but I don't know about an iron one. I mean, it doesn't weigh a whole lot. Elven boots. Ooh, that's what I need right there. Mm, bright and shiny. Get an armor upgrade out of that. Maybe uh, cast our Troll's Blood spell. Oh yeah, that's right, I'm silenced. He did get me after all. <laughs> Come on, silence, we're off. I need a little bit of help. There we go. Whoa! <laughs> Come on! You're really gonna do me like that? Steel Saber, Giant's Blood, uh, Giant Scorpion Stinger, Dwarven Battle Axe. I'll take that. Leather, the rest of it, chain. Chain boots. That doesn't weigh a lot. A battle mage just died. Hmm. Ooh, look at that little tiny box up there. Hey everybody, sorry for the brief interruption right here. I know it's a little jarring. Uh, I just had a corrupted file uh, with my video here, so I lost a decent chunk of progress made on video. And unfortunately, the tiny box had no loot in it. Anyways, back to our scheduled program. I kind of like the, the music going on in here too. I don't, I don't know if this is standard dungeon music or not. It's kind of got that like synth funk going. Oh, scantily clad battle mage doesn't even know how to put shoes on. There we go. No, no, no! Look, they got shoes now. Maybe when they were falling over, they just quickly put shoes on. Snake venom. Wild. Person's going around milking snakes without any shoes. Oh, good. Oh, good. This one... We might be in this dungeon for the entire episode. <laughs> These arrows, it just looks like it hurts so bad. When I pop them with it. Just the way they flinch back and just that huge blood splatter. Nothing else that I really want from that. All right, so we got archery in the bag ready to go. Ew. Is this like a, a bust of... The, it's hard to tell. I mean, that doesn't seem like an orc. Maybe a Daedric Prince or like a Dunmer or something. I saved against a spell. Did I or did something else? I think something else is fighting over here with magic. Battle Mage just died. Yeah. What's killing all these battle mages besides me? That's that's nearly vertical. Get up at all the same. Oh good. Oh hey! What's up? Can I hit you through here? Ow, you can hit me. Okay, I'm backing away. <laughs> but are you prepared for arrows? Yes, yes, they were. I don't yeah, I don't think we're getting through that gate. Got to find some kind of control mechanism. Do a quick scan on the map for secret rooms. Don't believe there is any. Okay, so just proceed down this hallway for a bit. Another little box. Nothing. No! No, 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 no. No, God. Oh, God, he hit me bad. Okay, Troll's blood. Swap weapons. Swap weapons. Smack him. Come on. Don't kill me. Oh. God. Okay. Oh, I got a uh, critical strike ready to go. I bet this opened the gate down there. Does not unlock. Of course it doesn't. Why would it? I've only been leveling lockpicking for ages. Let's pry it open with our big lockpick, aka the dagger. Oh yeah, that uh, that level up my stealth right there, wailing on a door. Okay. Oh good. All right, this is absolutely maze-like. Got a nice cubby hole to rest. Hello. Oh. <laughs> All right, two can play at that game. Just wait until I draw my bow. I, 
Are right, you, you feeling that? Yeah, there you go. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> okay, pull out the dagger again. There's three of you? <laughs> oh, shit. Come on. Yeah, I'll shank every last one of you. Just come on, I'll take your turn. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Start regenerating. I'll take you all down. Ugh. I'm a badass. Look at that. All these corpses around here just... I, I guess we're gonna miss out on the loot. Ooh, they just had ghosts in their pocket. Yeah, I think I'm gonna miss out on the loot from like one of these though, since they died inside of each other. I don't think there's any way for me to get the other one. Or like hide the body. Yeah, that's unfortunate. What was that? Oh, another one of you. Oh, I'll kill him before he kills me. Come on, please, 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 please. Stab him in the groin. Come on. Oh, I don't know when I last saved. I might have to bail. <laughs> Running away is always a tactical option. Especially when progress is on the line. Now oh, let's rest and... Oh no. Oh, they found me! Oh, please, no! Oh. Never. Surprise a stealthy Argonian. Ooh, a potion of healing. I'll just use that. Oh, that's... That's good. I don't have the spell points to cast Troll's Blood again, but... We do at least have health now. Hey, bud. Ah, I got him. Now, did that lever... It did open this. Nice. Elven broadsword? Yeah. Oh, now we need to open this one. I guess. I don't know what's behind it, but... Alright, yeah, I think we're gonna need to go and rest. I think all these people did their shopping at the same bargain bin. They all have like that same unique uniform skimpy style. <laughs> is this a safe room? I hope. I hope it is. I need to actually look to see if... Alright, good. We're still healthy. After fighting those flesh atronachs, you know, you just... I don't know. I imagine that they can pass diseases on, so you might want to check and see if you you catch some kind of, like, virus. <laughs> I like fighting these battle mages. They go down quick. What is that? Oh, a steel short sword. Weighs three kilograms. How does a short sword weigh as much as that die katana I got? Oh, good. Uh, do we have a shock spell? It's like my only damaging spell, but it costs so much. It's just not really worth it. Just smack him until he figures out who's here. Mm. Come on. Oh, we were silenced anyway. Now, sometimes if you're lucky, like while you hold down sprint, you can you can kind of run away from them quick like quick enough when they attack you to you know not get hit when they go under their animation but it's really just down to luck at some point because you never really know when they're about to swing again get trolls blood going you know sometimes it's nice just getting lost in a big dungeon though just running around aimlessly room to room hoping to find something neat Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, no. All right, we're back on the, uh, the ground floor. So... We want to hang a left down here. Now that way... Right there. Yeah, that's a door. Or that, that's a wall. All right, so we'll hang a left and just go to the end of the hall. Yeah, it definitely was came from that way. What is... The, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, you murdered them! So this is what was doing all the battle mage killing. Who 
builds a castle like this? Dang. These guys are loaded, though. I hope Grandma's safe in here, what with Battle Mage slaying Flesh Atronox walking around. Just go and feel through their pockets real quick. Is that it? You know, it took me ages before I just, like, came to terms with the fact that this is indeed mummy wrappings. Because on my first time around, that just, that looks like a little wacky, crazy snail right there, doesn't it? Like, that snail is, like, partying right now, just really getting this groove on. But no, no, alas, it's mummy wrappings. But they'll always be snails to me. What does that lever do? I want to flick it. I think I heard something. I don't know what it did. I guess we might never know. Not in a place this big. Like, that could have easily activated something, like, way over there. For all I know. Okay, so we'll go up the stairs. Just run through. Oh wait, okay. Yeah, it probably opened that gate if I had to wager a guess. Whoa! <laughs> you never know. You just sometimes open a door and then you just find a couple of a couple of lasses. Oh my god! Oh! Whoa! Oh, chaos is breaking out here. Alright, I'm gonna go invisible. I'm silenced. Oh. Yeah, y'all fight that guy for me. Ooh! Thanks for the help, I guess? This thing's a monster! Well, I mean, I guess, like, in the literal and figurative terms for it. It's gonna keep you at range. You smack like a semi-truck. The way he came out of that hallway, though, and just punched that mage in the face. It's, it's, I mean, he's kind of my hero, honestly. I admire, like, I aspire to be that one day. Just, like, a, <laughs> a stealthy mage puncher. Steel Helm. Elven Warhammer. Taking that. Let's get all those alchemy ingredients. Steel right pauldron, yeah. You all right? Cool. I didn't go through your pockets yet. Yeah, just it. Uh, I know I keep going back to the the music in this game, but there is just really something special about it. Like. It's got just that classic charm to it. Jeremy Soul really knows how to just lay down some... I, I don't know about, like, immersive exactly, but, like, just really... Yeah, yeah, immersive and just kind of, like, soothing tracks. Good ambience. I want that Elixir Vitae. I'm gonna ditch that, like, Steel Pauldron, I guess. Take that. Some Elixir Vitae sounds like something I could use in a healing potion. If I can figure out how to do alchemy. Because I tried, um, gathering the ingredients for... I think it was this? No. It was... Ah, it was this. Yeah. The recipe for potion of healing. I tried getting the red berries, troll's blood... El oh, elixir vitae. Okay, yeah. And the mercury. Uh, I had all those, but I just cannot, for the life of me, find the mercury. So I, I still haven't really practiced alchemy to see how that works. Let's get a quick little rest. Hold on, have I been up here? No, I have not. Another suspicious lever. Maybe, maybe we'll look around a little bit and see what the lever could open up before I flick it. That might be a good idea. Because maybe, you know, that other one I, I flicked might have unleashed a Fletch at Atronach. We'll just never know until he uh, comes to, like, I don't know, just claw our skin off in the night. 
Yeah, this th see this is the uh, the uh, skin peeler where they make the flesh atronox has to be. Ah, skin peeler. That reminds me. I'd, at some point, I, I want to get up on Kinshi again. Might start playing that uh, on the channel at some point in the future because I mean, talk about just a wild, wacky, fun game. I love love me some Kinshi. Now, okay, so let's let's go back up the stairs. Ugh, flesh peeler room. If worst comes to worst, we might have to sleep in there. Hmm. Okay, so there's still a corridor I haven't explored up top. This way is calling to me. Yep, there we go. That is. Okay, this links up with an area I've been to. It looks like there's a couple of doors here that I missed. Ooh! Ooh! Die, Frankenstein's monster! Now this is an actual chest. I, I can't, I can't open the chest. All right, I'll flick the lever. Now hold on, did that open or close this? Now that came from over there. Oh, I saw the shadow of something raising up. So we want this this lever unflicked. Let's click around. Okay, yeah, there's nothing. Will that show, will that live update on the map if that's open or not? No, I don't think it will. Okay. So, all right, down at the end of this hall, we have a door here and in that room to check out. Oh, looks like they actually link up with one another. Good. What is this? Can't take it. Looks like we're getting uh, above the, I guess, main chamber area. If that magically held lock is any indication, then that's probably the area that we need to get to. Huh. I guess one of the levers we hit opened this. Level up that stealth. No, oh, you don't sneak up on me. I just leveled stealth. That's right. You got a whole palm frond? Yeah, I'll take that. Oh, I just remembered. Yeah, the weight is an issue right now. I might have to... Um, is there something on the other side of this? Yeah, I'll let them beat it down for me. After we um, kill this battle mage, I might have to go back down to the entrance and uh, throw some stuff in the good old wagon. Oh, another snail. Potion for water walking, or recipe for one. What is it? Yellow rose palm. We just picked one of those up. Your water and sulfur. Hmm. Can I pick it up? Yes. What is the point of lock picking if I can't open the? Oh, this is the chair closet. I see. Every castle needs a chair closet. Okay, um, is there an, I think this is an easy way for me to get back to the entrance. I think. Yeah, if I maybe hang a right, oh my goodness, it's just littered with battle mages down here. I wonder why they're all female, I haven't seen the first male battle mage down here. Leather helm, and nah, just a bunch of leather and steel. Boots. That's all. Just wanted to exclaim boots. Dang, that's a bulky looking pauldron. I mean, we have an elven one, but part of me wants to see how that looks. I don't think I can... Yeah, I can't pick it up, but... Yeah, that's, that's a very bulky one. Ooh, a frond. Ah, I can't carry the frond. Okay, so it seems I was mistaken about that being a shortcut. Maybe somewhere down here will uh, it'll open back up to the entrance. 
All they do is silence me. But that just does no good. It just makes my dagger quieter. Come on. Oh no, we can't even get the gold anymore. All right. You know what? I just I'm gonna recall. Oh, I silenced. Of course. You know, I was thinking their silence might be pointless on me, but it's it's gotten me more than it should have. <laughs> I really not get out of there. Maybe if I go back up and around, yeah, down here. All right, so follow this till it dips down. It's like, oh my god! Nope. All right, we're good. It's going this way. <laughs> yes, I want to access my wagon. Store all of these alchemy things. Surely I can't put my horse in the wagon. Yeah, I can. <laughs> Needed to try though, for science. There. Now we're back to a much more reasonable carry weight. And I need to rest down here so I can set my anchor again. Is there a good room for resting? Yes. Yes, I think there is. See though, this is a uh, uh, the power of the ebony dagger. Though, picked it at the very start of the game when we were still building the character, and uh, it's, I mean, it just hasn't been surpassed yet. Who dares disturb my slumber? Oh, it's you! Hey, look, it's the first guy. <laughs> Our first magic item. It's a long sword, but depending on its effect, I might end up using it some. Steel Daikatana also? Take that. That is just, that's awesome. I, I love magic items. We just gotta go get it identified by our buddies over at the Mages Guild. Could be like a iron long sword of cursing or something, or, or inconvenient shrinking. Like we hold it and it shrinks us by like half an inch, like something just not really noticeable. But enough to like make us wonder it's like hey what does this sword even do meanwhile we're a half an inch shorter and none the wiser and the sword wins we can't let the sword win now hold on this this might link up to where i was these guys are a real hassle I say is I just absolutely destroy that one. Hmm. Yeah, nothing. Okay, so this way is a nothing way. So we head back out to that main hall and try the uh, other little bend. Crouch down. I want to make sure that I stealth run so I can get the jump on people like that. Oh my god. I just, okay. I realized that um, I'm in uh, the, the thief interaction mode and I just left clicked on this person and pickpocketed them. So maybe, maybe this is how you train pickpocket and don't get the law caught on you. I was wondering about that for a while now. Because, like, you know, I was thinking... Hold on. What was that? Elven left pauldron? We already have a left pauldron. But this one, I think, looks a little cooler than the one that we have. It... It does look a little cooler. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, like... I have the uh, pickpocket skill as one of my favorite attributes, I think. In uh, minor? Yeah. And this whole time I haven't leveled it because I was thinking that I would have to go and like practice pickpocketing from citizens in a town or something. And with a low pickpocket, you know, you're bound to get caught and get the guards caught on you. So I'm just sitting here wondering like how to level it up without going to jail frequently. And I guess that's the way you just practice on dungeon people because they can't call the guards. Or can they? 
All right, so we need to find another lever. Is there one in any of these rooms? I'm pretty sure they show up on the mini-map. I think? Treasure chest sure does. Oh, okay, so you don't see the l stick for the lever, but you see the little mound. Hmm. Okay, so... We can go back up. And... Alright, alright. I think I see a course. So we go back up, hang right here, but instead of going down that way, we keep traveling around here. Yep, this is the flesh Atronach we warped away from. Gonna get a troll's blood out. Mm. Okay. Maybe you could do another. All right, so we can fully investigate this top floor. I should probably save before I find another Atronach and it just absolutely wrecks me, makes me lose progress. Now, does this room have anything hidden? I don't think it does. Now this, though. I bet he's gonna sneak up on me while I'm hitting this wall. Am I hitting the right spot? Yeah, okay, so just dead ahead. Just gotta hit it more. There we go. Now where did that just spit me out? So both of these go down. This one's a steeper angle. Loading torch. This place truly is magical. Oh no. Oh no, I remember this. I actually remember this section. Yeah, we're gonna be here for a while. Those of you that have played Daggerfall before are probably now just <laughs> just snickering to yourselves thinking about how I come up along one of the big labyrinthine dungeons now and those that you those of you that haven't played Daggerfall before, this is a uh, what every dungeon would be like if you didn't turn smaller dungeons on. <laughs> Which, you know, hey, if you like the dungeons, go for it. Um, I didn't play with smaller dungeons on for quite a while until I just got really sick of spending months in every dungeon just to go and, like, retrieve some type of basilisk eye, for example. Get him. Come on. Ooh. Oh. Come on now. Oh, and you're gonna come up and silence me after all that. All of that we went through. And you're just, you're just gonna treat me like that? That was an internal monologue. I'm silenced so they couldn't hear any of my trash talking. <laughs> Oh, good. Just keeps on keeping on. So let's go back up here. Oh, wait, silenced. Can't, can't cast a heal. However, can rest in here. Just out of curiosity, how many days are left? 125? Not bad. Can swing that. Okay, before I fully leave this section, no hidden doors, nope, alright. Click, 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 nope, nothing. Uh, icon? Worth 50 gold. Huh. Yeah, I'll take it. I guess maybe that's like somebody's own little personal god shrine they're carrying around. So yeah, I'm a master sneak. Your friend won't ever. Well, never mind. They know. They knew that their buddy was getting jumped in the hallway. They're just typing into raid chat. Just like, hey, somebody's ganking people out here.
Who did that? It was you! Oh, ah! Alright, it's time to stab. <laughs> the dagger sound when I hit them with it. It really doesn't sound like they're getting hit by a dagger, huh? It's like I've got a cudgel. Just whack! Oh, good. All right, so we'll just pick a direction and go with it. Have I been this way? Yes. As a matter of fact, I have. There's a lever down there, though. I'm going to go touch it, because I, I think this was the lever that I decided not to touch. But now I have re-decided to instead touch it. Oh my god, there's another floor? More pocket snails and a pearl. Oh no. Oh no, this is awful. I oh the two levers set up. Okay, alright, we made the right move on that, I think. Oh no, there's another lever behind it though. Oh, and a wacky portal. All right, hold on. What does this lever do then? Does this affect the same thing? No. This might be a decoy lever. Okay, so we've been down that way. Ah, do I take the portal? I might take the portal. I never cast my, uh, my mark back down there, did I? I did not. I don't think. <laughs> oh, good. You know what? It's fine. If we find the way that we're supposed to go, then it should open us back out, like, right at the entrance anyways, so... As long as we don't need to access our cart again. Alright, yeah, through the portal. Oh, this isn't a portal I can go through. Is that a spit-me-out-somewhere portal, or... Is that a lever activated portal? Nope. Okay. Hmm. Oh, wait, what was that? Elven Curious. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we'll give them our old steel one. Oh, yeah, look at that. Getting upgrades. Now, I, I think um, how the armor actually works in this is very similar to uh, Arena in the aspect that, yeah, so like if we don't have the chest plate equipped, then if something attacks us and say RNG decides that the attack is headed for our chest, then we have, like, they have. A very high chance to hit us whereas if we equip the armor um, then in an attack lands at our chest then we reduce their chance to hit by 11 I believe is what it is so like the higher your number there like the greater chance of you just not getting hit is so it doesn't work as far as you know getting hit and uh, it working as damage reduction but it just helps you to avoid getting hit uh, period as far as I understand it No! Not another one of you. Come on now. Who's making all of you? Is it the battle mages? Because if it is, you sure have been killing a lot of them. Okay, so that little cubby hole up there, that's a nothing thing. Alright, so just keep going this way. Now hold on, this lever looks familiar. Yep, I've certainly been this way. But I haven't been down this way. Is 
Is that normal? All right, yeah, that doesn't do anything. Whoa! There's some rapid fire spell slinging going on around there. Uh-uh, nope, not you again. I'm gonna bow you. I'm gonna bow you. Stay away from me. I have a restraining order. Uh -uh. You know these things have just gotta stink so bad too, like you'd probably smell them like a good hundred feet before you actually saw them. I just chased myself into a dead end. Come on, equip the dagger. No way. Okay. <laughs> that didn't work. Just die. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Oh. That is a coin toss with them. Either they're going to go down easy or they're just going to ruin my day. Uh, okay. We can rest. Oh my god. What luck, too. This is a fantastic level up. All right, what do I what do I take? What do I take? Maybe maybe I like dump more into agility to get a 70. And then put some into speed. Because speed not only affects your movement speed, but also your attack speed. So that would be nice to get the attack speed up more and just overall do more damage. Yeah, I think I like the look of that level up. Save for sure after that. Is it just me or does... Did that change color? That was a white lamp before, wasn't it? Huh. Okay, so... Yeah, we keep back down here. Oh no. Come on. There. We attacked a whole uh, two points of speed faster right there. Wasn't it notice noticeable? <laughs> if you smack the doors, you can close them that way too. Uh, evidently. Is that root tendrils specifically northern though I don't know how I can take a look at those and know it's like they might be root tendrils however they're specifically from the northern province they uh, don't have the same rigidness that the southern root tendrils possess of course somebody back there gonna help me open this yeah Steel, steel, wait, I do have steel on the right pauldron, okay. Ooh, little treasure box. Oh, I like the look of that. That's nice. Um, oh, so, hmm. What do these do? That hurt me. Why did that hurt me? Am I poisoned? That lever just hurts me. Why? Am I, like, straining my back trying to flick it or something? Does this lever hurt me? No. Don't know what it did. Okay, so that's a good lever. We like that lever. Should I pull the hurt me lever and just hope it does something besides hurt me? No, probably not. I mean, surely it wouldn't, right? Have I been here? No. More of you, huh? Ah. You don't scare me, I've leveled up once. 
get some of them red, northern red berries. Have I been here? No, but there is a hole in the wall. With a flesh atronach. Big surprise. Dude, where is Granny at? An elven daikatana. That's gonna fetch us the big bucks right there. That's that's payday in and of itself. Oh. Okay. Rickety bridge. I can do rickety bridge over the pit of stalagmites. Hmm. Wait, that's a suspicious hallway for good reason now yeah we have been here we have been here I just can't believe this is all still the same castle they got a little bit of everything here oh what Accidentally press W going into here. I'll take all the Daikatanas. Those things I know for sure uh, sell for a lot. Oh, so that's the way to get back up in case we fell down. Okay. Well, joke's on it. I didn't fall down. I walked down like a normal doofus. Just waiting for that silence to go. Oh wait, was this the alley with the battle mages I couldn't loot? Yeah! Look at that short-term memory working for me for a change. <laughs> Dwarven Claymore. No, I can't pick that up. Dang, yeah, I'm about to have to make another trip to the cart. Okay, so that's got this area fully explored. I think, no it doesn't. No it does not. Oh! Does he see me? I, th I think, I think yes, I think yes he sees me. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, whoever sculpted these guys out of flesh though, sure gave them some really solid abs. It's gotta show some respect where it's due. It's like a tube of vacuum-packed sausages or something. Alright, how do I get back to my cart from here? Wait, are you telling me there's a staircase up? Oh yeah, down this way. getting so disoriented okay so exit we can access in only one way that I see from here right now so if we go back into that chamber and through ask the Atronach room okay okay yeah it's gonna have to actually walk there since I never saw fit to put down an anchor rest in first so I have enough magicka to cast an anchor there. So keep going this way. Follow it to the end? No. No, okay, yeah, follow it to the end. Go up the stairs. What was that? 
Is that door closed? Has it always been closed? I, I haven't gone down that way yet. Hmm. Okay, so now we go this way. Around. So... Okay, then just down the little winding staircase and bada boom, bada boom, we're at the door. Okay. Oh, magic items. Yeah, put that sword away. It's these alchemy ingredients that's weighing us down the most right there. Get so many of them off these guys. Oh, that's the anchor. Can't forget. And save. Alright, which direction would let me in there? I really just want to get in there. I think we go back to Rickety Bridge Pit. So, it, yeah, this way. And up the stairs? Yes, up the stairs. How do I... Ah. This way. Level up that mysticism! And it was this way. Around here, I think. Down this ramp. Uh, yeah, back all the way at the end of this hallway. Wow, this is just monolithic in scale. Yeah, I took a long enough break from Daggerfall, like, since last I played, that I just, I really did forget myself. The, the scale of these things, I was like, surely I'm just remembering it being... A lot larger than it actually was right but no no I was I was dead on with the memory on that one this is just humongous like first named Hugh last name Mungus huge now yeah I'll just I'll keep going around this way this is probably the most likeliest way to a uh, most likely way to get to where the center bit is hopefully Hmm. Nice weird room with a candle. Ooh. Get the dagger! Get the dagger! Did I just kick? Oh! <gasps> what? What happened? What happened? Our ebony dagger's broken. I thought I saw a foot come out. Oh my god! And our bow is battered. I'll, I'll kick you, fiend! Come here, let me give you a knuckle sandwich! <laughs> no! No! Alright, we leveled up hand to hand. Let's get the bow out. Uh, we might have to retreat and go to a town to get repairs. Take this dwarven flail, that'll pay for repairs. God! Alright, now I'll just flick levers. Flick levers. This, I think this is the, the way, though. I think this is the way. Oh, yes. Okay. Okay. If we can get through this, then we ha have a way to the home stretch. I just remember there being some sketchy combat in here. We might have to use the Dwarven Flail. <laughs> Equipping Flail. Uh... Yeah, here we go. Alright, it's flail time. Come on, come get some. <laughs> oh my god, I like the flail. I like it a lot. Steel die katana, take that. There's another one of you just begging to be flailed. Come on, come on. Oh, it would hurt so bad getting hit by one of these. I know they're like wildly impractical in real life, but they're just so cool though. Okay, so this- <gasps> Granny! Alright. Let's save this granny. <laughs> if she even wants to be saved, she kind of looks happy to be here. 
Uh, let's, uh, dialogue mode. Here we are. So, we are only like dead walls or vaulted graves that, ruined, yield no echo. Oh, this gloomy world, and what a shadow or deep pit of darkness doth womanish and fearful mankind live. How came Lysandus by his death? In a mist, I know not how. Oblivion not come yet? Shut up mine door and keep out its grey skies. I'll move it nearer by a perspective, or make a glass that shall set all the world on fire upon an instant. I cannot sleep. My pillow is stuffed with a litter of porcupines. She's insane. This old lady's insane. Is that all I needed? <laughs> I mean, I, we checked on her condition. She is certifiably cray cray. Um, can I pick your pocket? No, no, I can't. All right. Well. You want to stay here then? All right, cool. I need I need to go get repairs anyway. Uh, I guess see ya, Nelfaga. Thanks for letting me drop by. <laughs> Is this really where you live? Do you need food? Anything like that? Okay, let's cast a little, a little resto magic. Get a save. Command me. An entry shall be yours. Man, be open? Man, an entry shall be yours. Uh, hmm. Uh, unlock? Um, enter? Huh. Command me. Entry shall be yours. Is this like a riddle of some sort? Do I need to know the passphrase? Can you tell me how to open your door? <laughs> you crazy old woman. Huh. So, open... Wait, surely it's not... Open sesame. No, all right. Uh, sure, yeah, that would have been, that would have been too obvious. Uh. Okay. Yeah, to avoid being stuck in here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see what I'm supposed to type to this guy because there is no hints around here. Um. So I'm, I'll be right back. Okay. So, apparently there was a clue in her dialogue. Um. But I just, it didn't click for me, so essentially, <laughs> what you need to tell this skeleton to do is, uh, shut up. And he opens the door for you. So, thank you, kind skeleton. I'll be making my way now. And I guess without the granny. We just came here to hear an insane rambling and make sure she was fine. It is dark out here, what the hell? Okay, so let's get on our horse and find... Oh, hold on. Unequip the weapon. Yeah. All right. Find the nearest town. Where even are we? Where is Shad Dungeon? It's like not giving me a. Hold on. So yeah, I'm in this. I am in this section. In fact, is it so big that I have to click on the right section? Wow, it's not giving me a crosshair. That's pretty wild. Oh, wait. Oh! Okay, these arrows down here let me move left to right. Okay. So, this looks like a pretty close big city. What is that? Holic? We'll go to Holic. Cautiously. Ah, yes. The Rothgarian Mountains on the horizon. That is a lot of people just out there scavenging. Oh, this has a pretty neat aesthetic, actually. Like, it's actually, like, the terrain and housing is noticeably different from that in, uh, Daggerfall. Whoa! Oh, uh, oh, well, I missed that. <laughs> they just tried to talk to me at the wrong time. Did they give me a missive? 
Ah, okay. Yep, that that would be it. I tried to investigate that building, and as soon as I clicked on it, that person tried to talk to me. Jazeera, the cartographers have assigned me to accompany you on a pathfinding exercise in the Rothgarian Mountains. Please meet me in Lamworth so we can go together. The destination will be Hearthfield Grange, and the exercise must be completed in 27 days to maintain your standing with the association. Ali, Al, Ali Bival Morstan, explorer, trainer, the cartographers. Lamworth, Rothgarian Mountains. So, we need to go to Lamworth, and then go to Hearthfield Grange. I mean, we have time. It's not like we're in a hurry. We still have 123 days to get back to Daggerfall. So yeah, we can knock this out while we're here. Um, so, alright, so Lamworth. Uh, after I go and get my weapon repaired, of course. Which would be... Oh no, I janked it up. Oh, I'm never getting that map back to normal now. Oh, it's just gonna be slightly askew. Yep, that's that's just how it is now. <laughs> Dang, that's close enough. Uh, we'll go to the main central hub. Oh wait, I can get my streetwise skill up a little bit by just clicking through in them a couple of times, making sure I'm on blunt. The green porcupine. I wonder if those are the porcupines that were uh, in Nolfaga's pillow. The beaver and goblin. Adventurer's vestments. This seems like the place we need to be. The essential retail store. Oh, wait. Oh, this is clothes. Oh, and this is armor. Okay, the superior armor. If this armor isn't superior, by God, I'm gonna sue- where is the door? Oh. The shop is better appointed than many. Its wares lie neatly on the shelves, although not fit for a king. All are skillfully crafted. Okay. Ooh, I like the look of this. Certainly looks less hodgepodge and run down than the ones we've seen in Daggerfall. Do they have anything that I desire? I don't think they do. Okay, so... Yeah, I'll probably sell my wares somewhere else. Alright, so repair that. 75 gold, that is not bad. Oh wait, I don't repair the arrows. And get the bow repaired. Nice. There we go. Now we can... Set to unequip this flail, although that was a lot of fun. Get our sick dagger and bow back. King's Fairy Tavern? Vintage Armaments? Is this place... is the... Whoa, okay. From a moment, for a moment there, that almost looked like the uh, Mark of Sacrifice from Berserk. Humbled together out of scrap lumber. Ooh, alright, yeah, this is gonna be a good place to sell at. The poorer shop, the better. Somehow the poor shops have more money to buy your things with. Ooh, 357 gold. Dwarven foil. Oh, 858. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, what will you buy that. Oh, yeah, that elven short sword. I could have used that as backup in there if we didn't have the flail. 1,000 gold for the battle axe. Oh, this is amazing. So much money. So much. You gotta sell it all one at a time, too. Like, you could lump sell, but, uh, I think it, you know, you get more XP in your mercantile skill if you, uh, sell things one at a time, because it just gives you a point of XP for every individual transaction instead of how much gold you make off of it.
I need to get that identified still. I'm not selling that. And we'll keep all the ingredients in our cart for now. Yeah, advanced mercantile. You know, actually, do they have an apothecary here? Surely they would, right? Banks, bookstores, gym stores? Got gym stores? Emperor's gemstones. She marked it on our map. Oh, it's right next to us. Yep, that would be it. Huh. What do you... I mean, is it... Do you just sell gems? Like, actual... Oh, it's like jewelry. Oh. It'd be good to visit one of these places in case we, uh, you know, eventually do some enchanting of our own. Could buy some gear from here. And put some magic on it. Filth, filthy the mages guild <laughs> no loyal the school of julianos would help your kind huh i'm sorry i hope one day the school of julianos teaches you uh, how to speak english properly now as for you I, yeah i don't really have anything for you you uh, just keep standing there running your shop looking pretty the both of you I'll see ya so, I think they don't have an alchemist here, so we're going to keep our ingredients. Don't need to rest at a tavern. We need to go, however, to Lamworth. So, let's find Lamworth. Let's travel there. It's only three days. Not bad. Ooh, definitely gonna loiter for a couple hours. A little brighter. Shitty weather. Uh, weather though. Okay, so I did it again. I done squirreled the map up. Okay, so where did he say? Let me read the note. Um, Lamworth. Huh. I guess I just gotta ask around about Alabevil Morston. Morston? Do you know where people Alabevil Morston is? Northeast of here. Alright, now go northeast. Thank you. Let's look at these houses. See if any of them have Morston's name printed on the outside of it. The Woodham residence. Maybe that's it? You listen up, point me towards Zalabeevil Morston. Alright. Maybe this is it, though. I mean, because usually the named residence is where your person's at. If I can find the door. Ah. Just blends in so well with the uh, exterior. Okay. Where is Alibival at? You can't hide forever, Morston. You look like a cartographer. Yeah, alright. Ah, Jazeera, I'm glad we could make it. We need to go to Hearthfield Grange. It's a bit of a walk, so I'll have plenty of time to observe your exploration technique. I'm ready to go when you are. Oh, look at him. We, we have his head. Okay, so Hearthfield Grange. Let's go. Is this gonna be a home, I guess? You know what, we'll go, we'll go recklessly. Cut down on the travel time. Yes, indeed, this is the right place. Good work, Jazeera. Let me give you your payment. This may have been training, but... We don't want you to feel like we've been wasting your time. I promise you that once you've risen in rank, you won't have to deal with our meddling any longer. I'll head back to Lamworth now. Take care. So he just hired me to come case this joint here, like just... Oh. The celebration of second planting is in full glory this day. It is a holiday with traditions similar to first planting. Huh? 
Oh, second planting. Okay, yeah, the, the, similar to first planting, I would imagine. Improvements on the first seeding, symbolically to suggest improvements on the soul. The free clinics of the temples are open for the second and last time this year, offering cures for those suffering from any type of disease or affliction. Because peace and not conflict is stressed at this time, battle injuries are healed only at full price. Interesting. It's like I had a little holiday going. But yeah, it's like, these cartographers, they just keep hiring me to come, like, check out people's homes without the homeowner knowing. Like, they, they're a little suspicious. <laughs> okay, so we need to go back to Daggerfall now, lest our quest time expire on us. Look for ports. We have Rothgaria. That will work. Ah, uh, Rothgaria of the Rothgarian Mountains. What a pleasure. So now, since this is a port town, we can travel directly to Daggerfall from here, and it should be pretty quick. Yeah, we should definitely get there with plenty of time to spare on our quest. Hey you, ma'am, the Argonian! You turn around and see a poor youth calling to for you in the warm summer air. If you can come on back to the Garefield farmstead, we've got a problem we hope you can take care of. Come look for my father at the house. The youth then heads home to the northeast. Okay. Huh, so we still got our farm contract going. <laughs> Turns out we didn't really need much of our uh, little bank slip, so I guess we can go and just drop that right back in the bank again. Up to the north, we need to head that way to the castle anyway. So northwest a little ways. They'll be happy to get our gold back. I might actually... I know they have an alchemist here. The Emperor's Potions. Yeah, we can swing by that first. Sell off some of these alchemy ingredients and then bank our stuff. Uh, okay, so it's still a little ways north. Is that it right there? Emperor's Potions. I forgot where the guy is. Oh yeah, crouch down behind an actual shop counter. Sell so, out of our wagon. Will you buy, uh, let's see, the Elixir Vitae, Trolls Blood, and Red Berries. I want to keep, because that's what we need for um, potion, uh, healing potions. As for this stuff, I'm just gonna sell this in bulk. This is way too many things to sell one at a time. Oh, so there is actual... <laughs> I got southern red berries and northern red berries. Oh wait, yellow berries? I don't know if I need those. Griffin's feather, black poppy... Ah, uh, they're snails! Yeah, alright, let's go ahead and just drop all this. There we go. Nice. 1,606 gold. What does that put us up to now? Uh, we have... 16,046. I wonder if that factors in... No? Okay, so that's before our writ here. So we have a little over, uh... We have about, like, uh, 28,000, a little over. Bank of Dagger Falls right back here. It's locked. Hold on. Open from 8 to f oh, okay. Let's loiter for two hours till they open. Just wait patiently outside of their door. Bank. I want to deposit... Uh... 2,400 of that. Wait. No. <laughs> no, I would like to... Yeah, deposit all letters of credit. And then deposit... Uh... Let's see. 12,000. There we go. And now we can... 
Hmm. You know what? I'm not going to withdraw any of it right now in, a, in the form of a writ or letter of credit. I'll just leave that as is. We have some spending money. You know, for all the spending we always do. And let's head up to Castle Daggerfall. Let them know that their crazy grandma is doing just fine out in her insane asylum of a castle. Look at that. Is it, that is a very regal entrance, like a nice ride up to get to the, you know, past the ponds, through the, the border trees. That one little sprout right there is just irks me. <laughs> Ooh. It's got a load. That's right, yeah, for some reason this place takes a while to load. I remember it tripped me out and made me think that I was, uh, crashing before. Yep, we agree to not speak harshly to the king or draw weapons and all such manner of things. Hello, Queen Abaki. I confess, I doubted I would ever see you again. Your news that Nilfaga is still among the living does my heart much good. Here is your common symbol. <gasps> it's magical. Thank you. Jazeera, I do not know even how to broach this subject. I need you to promise me on your ancestors' honor that you will do what you can to help me and never breathe of what I say or what you see to anyone else anywhere. Will you swear? Uh, yes, but my fingers are crossed. I will trust you then, Jazeera. The matter concerns my mother-in-law, the Dowager of... Do Dowager? I think it's Dowager. Queen of Daggerfall and widow of Lysandis, Minisera. Oh! Oh, okay, it makes more sense now. So Queen Abaki here must be... She's obviously the wife of Queen Gothrid, but... Queen, er, King Gothrid. And Gothrid must be Lysandis' son, I guess? Because, yeah, Abaki's, you know... The uh, minister is the mother-in-law of Abaki. Okay. As mistress of the household of finances, I have noticed that she has been paying for the upkeep of a fortress called Castle Necromagon. Ne Necromagon? That just sounds awful. Complete with a large platoon of soldiers. A short while ago, she disappeared with a wrapped parcel of papers and came back days later with empty hands. She's recently left again with another parcel of letters, and my spies have verified that she has gone to Castle Necromagon. You will have to trust that my suspicion of her activities is justifiable, for I'm not in a position to offer proof. What I need for you to do is go to Castle Necromagon and find that parcel of letters or any information about her activities there. Minisera will be returning in 13 days. You cannot have any more time than that, I fear. Good luck. Oh, wow. Okay. Hey, your mom is, is she living in the Necronomicon and hiding letters. I can't tell. I Yeah, I can't tell. You're lucky. <laughs> okay. Well, I think that's a decent enough spot to leave it at for today. Uh, got a really nice dungeon crawl in, story-wise. Uh, just huge, huge place. Didn't even explore all of it. Just got lucky and made it to the uh, inner chamber. But thank you all uh, so much again for 100 subscribers. That is just, that's awesome to me. Uh, I appreciate each and every one of you, and I hope that you have a good rest of your day wherever you are. Goodbye.